Forget surfing and sailing, a quick stroll around Dartmouth's beautiful harbour here and you could be forgiven for thinking that crabbing was the most popular water pastime. Devon's coastline is brimming with crab. The crabs that everyone's catching here in their buckets are shore crabs. They're sort of green in colour and pretty and edible. But the Devonshire coastline is particularly well known in the culinary world for brown crab and it's utterly delicious and it gets a lot bigger than this. It's crazy therefore that 60% of all the crabs caught in our Devonshire waters are exported to France and Spain and Hong Kong. It's an example of us not supporting our local producers, our local fishermen, when we should be eating our own delicacies. So I'm going to take advantage of being down here in Dartmouth and I'm going to go and buy myself some brown crab and go and cook it on the beach in Slapton. It's a glorious day here down at Slapton Lay Nature Reserve. We're on the beach. We're just down the road from our Slapton Sands Club site and also a little bit further away from Dartmouth. Now, I'm cooking a Dartmouth-themed recipe. I'm going to do a crab linguine. Dartmouth is very famous in the culinary world for its brown crab. It looks a little bit like a pasty. So I'm going to do a really simple crab linguine. I'm going to make it all in one pan. I'm using fresh pasta because it'll be cooked in about four minutes. Pop the lid on, this really handy Kadak chef pan that comes with the lid. That's done. This City Chef 40, it does get hot really, really quickly. So I'm going to drain that, but before you drain, don't forget to take a little bit of the pasta water because that helps loosen up the sauce later. A little bit of oil heating up in the pan there, and I'm going to add a couple of garlic cloves, snip four spring onions. I'm going to add in my crab. So I'm not going to put all of the brown meat in, it's mainly just the white meat and a sort of a spoonful or two of the more flavoursome brown crab. So I'm just heating all that crab up, keeping it on relatively low heat, let it heat through slowly. And then I'm going to use a little bit of white wine to make more of a sauce. I'm going to mix that crab in and just let that wine bubble away and it will reduce very, very quickly. I'm just going to add in my pasta get all that lovely crab flavour in. Just warm that pasta through again. And if you want to make a little bit more of a sauce, I'm going to use some of that pasta water from before. Squeeze in the juice of half a lemon and just a little bit of zest. Add in a sprinkling of parsley. That's smelling amazing now. Smell sort of crab, bit of wine, bit of zesty lemon. There you go. Easy peasy crab linguine on the beach. Now it looks like my family are uh, out at sea. Tea time, come on. 